Hey guys, Adam Savage in my cave next to my do more drill press. Uh, we did a video about this a little while back where I drilled some holes. You can see I perforated George's face uh, and then I drilled some even smaller holes, which you can see under his nose there. Those smaller holes are 10 thousandths of an inch in diameter or roughly three sheets of copy paper thick. Um, but that is not the smallest hole one can drill in this drill press. You can go down to a tenth of a millimeter, four thousandths, theoretically. Now I have broken every bit below 10 thousandths in diameter. And I have since found, oh, I found the original catalog for this piece and discovered a couple of amazing things about it. This is like, I actually surmised that this XY table must have been a catalog item. I ended up buying this catalog and here is the catalog item. It is the Precision Micro Drill Press 27 Multiple Hole Unit Catalog Number 27-021. Sorry if I went through this in the last video. I might have, I can't quite remember. At any rate, couple of unique features of this. One is that uh, that uh, this spring return here, this, this spring that's over here actually was not a spring. It's a counterweight system to make the whole table neutrally buoyant. So I want to do that. Number two, if when you want to go below 10 thousandths in diameter in hole drilling, you want to go below the 17,000 RPM of the base speed of the do more. And you want to go at more like one to 2000 RPM. So I bought a speed control for that. Also, when you're drilling the micro hole, do more recommends that you use a uh, specific binocular microscope. I didn't go back and buy the old ye oldie binocular microscope. I bought a new cheap one uh, that I think might work perfectly because it gives me stereo vision. And all of that means I'm about to build a table for this guy and really specifically a table that will place it at a height that's useful to me. So not this workbench height. I think actually whenever I'm using this thing, it's going to be right about here, right about, you know, like, like here. So I'm going to get out a couple of Apple boxes and sort of figure out right now how high this stand should be. Time to make a stand for the do more and a place to store all of its little bits and bobs and expansion packs. Uh, so, even a place where I can keep its catalog. See, I feel like this might be a nearly ideal height. I think it's a tiny bit higher. Let's see. Everything. Pull a drawer out here.
Okay, so per usual, I have a lovely drill press, which I have kitted out on a nice stand. Um, I'm really pleased with how this all looks. I'm gonna try and drill my first hole. Uh, let's see here. Let's get you a better view here. We'll get you some macro stuff here in a little bit. But for right now, we're just gonna secure it in. I'm gonna try the super, super small drill bit. Okay, I think this is one tenth of a millimeter, which is 4,000. This would be by far the tiniest hole I'll have ever drilled. We will see if it's even feasible. Here we go. Oh, I can see it. I can see it. I'm going to attempt to drill something just a little bit softer. So, can you even see this thing? Yeah, there we go. There she is. Oh, yeah. What a lovely little beast this is. So I have just successfully drilled three in a row holes of 4,000th diameter. I'm not even sure that I can see them here. Hold on, let's see. All right, <laughs> we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna get the Joey or the Josh or the Norman here to work a little bit on the um, on the logistics of this because uh, this is working great. Turns out, just had to wrap my head around it. If you want to focus on the tip of the bit, you got to focus on the tip of the bit. It makes dumb sense, but like I was focusing on the table and you bring the table up to the bit. It is incredible what a light touch it takes. And I haven't even built the counterweight yet. So that's the next step. I'm gonna build the counterweight. And then um, this is actually all coming together quite reasonably. I'm quite, quite pleased with it. Um, Oh my God, 4,000 is so small, I can't see it. I can't even see it with a 10 power loop. I need like 20 power here is what I've got. Um, yeah, I've got a 10X plus a 20, crazy. So it's the next morning, 
I did some YouTube research on uh, drilling tiny holes. Um, among the things I, I've, I've just been practicing with a uh, 0.4 millimeter. Right. 40% of a millimeter is 10 thou. Right? Wait. Yeah, two fifths. 40%. 16 thou. So I've got a 16 thou drill bit in here. And it's making some nicely tiny, tiny, tiny holes. That is, um, and you might be wondering, Adam, you might be saying to yourself, why are you using the binoculars when you have that um, digital microscope? Because apparently, according to Dumore, you, this is, well, Dumore recommends a stereo binocular microscope. Not a stereo monocular microscope. There are two different kinds, apparently. This one gives me a stereo vision on the uh, on the drill, and apparently that's mission critical. And I just dialed that up to um, forty times magnification, and yeah, it's like you really, really can see it. It's amazing. I'm gonna play a little more with a ten thou bit and see about where I can get with that, and then I'm gonna bring in the digital microscope so you can see. Yeah, that, that took out a little bit of the run out. All right, let's give it a shot. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing because I'm kind of excited. I just successfully, I just successfully drilled a 0.1 millimeter hole, 0.1 millimeters. That's the thickness of your hair. It's the thickness of your hair. It's the thickness of your hair for thousands. Okay. It's the thicker one of your hair. It's like an eyebrow hair. Um, but four thousands, the thickness of a sheet of paper. That's the smallest. That's the sm that's the smallest hole I'm ever gonna make. Um, but yeah, I, you gonna take my word for it? That's silly. Uh, I'm gonna go get the microscope and I'm gonna start uh, mucking with that business. I really like this little table. I'm very happy with it. <clears throat> All right, microscope. So uh, uh, we're just gonna get a little bit of a little bit of cutting oil on there. Okay. Now the 0.1 millimeter mofo. I have drilled, I have successfully drilled a one-tenth of a millimeter hole. <clears throat> I got it on camera. And just for, um, for funsies, we're going to drill um, what used to be the smallest drill bit in my arsenal. Let's try a number 61. So that was a one-tenth of a millimeter. This is a one millimeter drill bit.
There we go, we went through. And then I think that if you look carefully, you can see the, uh, hold on, here, hold on. Right there next to the hole, you can see the one-tenth size hole, the one that is over here. That's where the previous one went. Doink, doink. And then I went over here and drilled this one millimeter hole. Oh, oh, oh yeah, dude, this is amazing. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm not unhappy with this rig. I this is really kind of working for me. I, I feel like it's um I feel like it's a positive thing. Um Yeah, I'm really kind of pleased with it. Clearly I need a little dispenser for oil and I need a place where I can put these guys. That's one thing. Um I think I can turn this off. I have recorded onto the microscope.